It's Joe from DIY Cold Plunge. This video is going to be a quick start guide for your Ambor Spa 124 ozone generator. When you get it, open this bad boy up. There'll be some void filler paper stuff. The Venturi injector. You'll also get a rolled up piece of hose, two of those. You'll also get a check valve. This is not simply a hose extender. You need this piece to make the unit function, so don't throw this away. That is one mistake that some people have had. And then of course, to round things off, the ozone generator itself. So the first thing to do to set this up is to get your ozone generator hooked up with tubing. So you can take one of these tubes and unwind it, and you simply, this little bottom part here, you just push the tubing onto that piece there. Now, take your check valve and blow into it. You're only gonna be able to blow in one way. So I just flip that around. So I can blow air through this thing. It's not letting air come back at me at this direction. So I know that I need the ozone to leave the generator and go through this check valve. So knowing that I can blow through that, I'm going to put the piece that I just blew through onto the tubing there. So now we have ozone generator, tubing, and the check valve that only lets air out, it won't let air in. Then we'll take our last piece of hose and attach that to the other side of the check valve, like so. Now the other side of this hose goes on to a Venturi injector. You will need some sort of filtration system to make this generator inject ozone into your cold plunge. If you need help with setting up one of these, I've got videos on YouTube. I also sell step-by-step -step plans on my website. It's kind of like Legos, except for building a cold plunge, which is kind of fun. You can check it out if you want to. So you'll take the other end of the hose and install it onto your Venturi injector that's part of your filtration system. And then you'll want to mount this with screws onto something. It could be your mechanical area, the side of your tub, a wall, whatever. Another thing that you'll want to do, especially if you're using this for a cold plunge system, is you only need to run this for about an hour each day. So pick up a cheap Christmas light timer on Amazon or Home Depot or wherever you shop and just program it to run for an hour each day, and then you can just leave it plugged in and you'll have clean, cold water anytime you want. So I hope this answers any questions just about general setup for the ozone generator. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll jump in and answer those as I can. Otherwise, have a great day, guys. Thanks for checking out the video.